I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. I love, marry, and you should too. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, and we're an organization all about training pastors and and laity and parents to pass that faith on to their to their kids. If you like what we're doing here, then like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the i uh, the app. It's in iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Roku, and Apple TV. And donate, donate your tax deductible gift to to support.higherthings.org. Your gift keeps us. Passing that faith to the next generation. Our kids need this gospel. They need it today. Give today. St. Mary's Day is tomorrow. Mary, the mother of our Lord. Mary, the mother of God. Theotokos, the God-bearer. The Blessed Virgin. Mary. We love Mary in December. We have... um, we like to put her in the manger scene. We like to uh, picture her. We like to sing songs about her. Mary, did you know uh, that the baby in your womb um, would, someday, would someday walk on water? Did you know that, Mary? We love Mary in December. The rest of the year, Protestants like to look at her with a little subspi- uh, subs- uh, suspicion. I love you, properly placed Mary. I'm not praying to you. I'm just rejoicing in you. All right. The reason why we should love Mary, the reason why we should um, celebrate Mary is that um, Mary is the mother of God. She's not the mother of just Christ. She's the mother of God. Theotokos. She's the God-bearer. When she gives birth to Jesus, she gives birth to God. Not God the Father, not God the Spirit, but God. And this was confessed in the Council of Ephesus where there was a a discussion about whether or not Mary was the mother of Christ or the mother of God. And it's not that she's the mother just of Christ. She is also the mother of God. To understand Jesus as God is to confess Mary as the Christ. And that's the best part of Mary. Um, My favorite pictures of Mary are those pictures where she's pushing the baby forward. She um, She is giving us a picture of her son. Uh, See, Mary, in her own way, points us to the church. In Revelation, there's a there's a mother who gives birth to a baby while, um, while the dragon chases her. That's the Christmas account, and I think that's in Revelation 12. Um, We should look at Mary and go, when I see you, Mary, I see the church, who receives Jesus as her Savior and then mothers those around us and cares for them. That's what the church does. Um, Mary is a great witness to the faith. She is faithful to her Lord um, and watches him die and then, and then celebrates his resurrection. Um, we should be a fan of Mary year-round just because some folks take Mary too far. Some folks um, uh, think that she is... Um, uh, she should be uh, venerated um, or um, is code redemptrix with, with Jesus. Just because their mistake does not mean that we can't sort of rejoice and revel in the gift of Mary, who when the angel talks to her says, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a virgin. I don't know a man. But at your word, but at your word, I am the Lord's servant. Let it be done to you according to your word. The angel says, no words are impossible with God. And she says, well, at your word. And that's the way of faith. That's what the church does. The church takes Jesus at her, his words. So Mary provides us a great witness. She is uh, to be venerated as uh, the uh, mother of God. Um, uh, if you want to throw in the title Ever Virgin, that was a, a one that Luther loved. Um, but you can debate on whether or not she was always a virgin. Um, I personally don't like to think about my mother as anything other than a virgin. But um, thirdly, you can also rejoice in Mary's witness that she shows us how it is to be the church and watch Jesus, the Savior of the world, die and rise again for us and then to live 
in faith, expecting his return. A good prayer here is um, one of my favorite prayers is the prayer for today, which is, Almighty God, you chose the Virgin Mary to be the mother of your son. Grant that we, who have been redeemed by his blood, may share with her in the glory of your eternal kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. What I love about this is notice it points us to Mary being God's mother, being the mother of Jesus. That's why we, we, we celebrate Mary, because she gives birth to God. And then, can we share with her in the joy of those of paradise, which is received not by works or by blood or being Jesus' mother, brother, sister, or the like, but by faith in him. I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.